Native Instruments just dropped a new expansion. This one is called Motherboard and it is based off of the sound of Detroit Electro. And in this video, I'm about to be showing you guys the beat I made using this expansion. And if you are interested in checking out the sounds that are in this expansion, go ahead and click the link in the description. I have the sound by sound video linked in there where I go through the kits and all of that wonderful stuff. So you can hear what comes in. And if you want to purchase it, there's an affiliate link in the description below. I have machine open right here. As you see, all these sounds, come from this expansion and to me I grew up listening to some of this music like hearing it just living in Detroit over time you know you hear a lot of this stuff and then even through family I've heard a lot of this stuff and this beat right here I made kind of reminds me of something of along the lines that you hear on the BMF TV show with this beat I'm going to show you guys what I started with so first things first I'm going to go back to ideas view so that way I'm not throwing off my arrangement and I'm going to open up a blank scene. So when I first started making this beat, I came up with a drum pattern first, which is not regular for me at all. And this is what it sounded like. And then the second part of it is like this. Now, if you've listened to any of the Detroit Electro music or heard any of that music from back in the day, like you hear it on like mix shows and stuff here in Detroit, it has a simple drum pattern, something kind of similar to that. And then from there, I went and added this bass line and this bass is also included. Like I said, all of these sounds are included with this expansion. And then I went to these string synth sounds. That's why I call it stringish. Then I felt like I needed something else added. So this is what I call the background synth. Because when I listen to that music, there's a lot of background noise. Here's another background sound. I call it an art, but it's not really art. Okay, so now... I added a little pluck sound. And what would this beat be without some type of vocals going? So I actually have two patterns going. I'll play the first one. And of course, it's homage to Detroit, so that'll make sense when you hear it. If you didn't know, 313 Detroit area code. So that's that. And then I added this other pattern to it just to give it a different type of variation. So now I want to play you the arrangement in full and it's short, it's not that long and you know I had a lot of fun with this and this is a fun expansion. I can see myself making all type of older style beats with this and just it's a different lane for me. I shouldn't even call it older style, it's just a different lane for me personally. So I'm about to play this. Let me know what you guys think.
So yeah, you guys, that's it. I'm not going to play the whole thing, but you guys get the gist of this beat. Something different from me. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Maybe I should do a whole little uh, EP of beats like this. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to do that, but just messing around. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you want to check this out, click that link in the description. Shout out to Mick Benjamins and Native Instruments. I appreciate you guys. And uh, yeah, I think I'm about to go ahead and load up another one of these kits and make me another beat. Catch y'all on the next one. If you need help using machine, I have my video course up on teachable.com and it's entitled How I Use Machine. I cover everything from how I start a beat to finishing the beat. The link is in the description below. So if you need help with machine, go check that out. Hopefully you enjoyed the video.